watching Inside Africa. Welcome back. It's not the biggest African film festival, but it does have plenty of attitude. Organizers of the New York African Film Festival say it features some of the very best African films produced each year. We sent Femi OK to check out this year's batch. What the <gasps> The South African film Triumph made its North American debut at the New York African Film Festival. The film is about a poor and incestuous white family. Peace off, man! Someone that was shown here last night came out in shock, and I was standing outside, and she was, looked like she'd been run over, you know. And she came up to me and said, I, don't, I didn't like it, but I'll never forget it till the day I die. Director Michael Rayburn clearly relishing the reaction to his film. He's new, Bob. Now in its 16th year, the New York African Film Festival is no bratty teen on the African movie circuit. The festival has a reputation for inviting some of Africa's most exciting filmmakers. Festival founder Mahan Benetti is proud of the caliber of directors she's showcasing. They're sophisticated, they're worldly, so I'm really proud of that because it, 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 it sort of defies everything, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's like shattering the myth of Africa that the world believes is, we're showing Africa as we know it. The festival has a large contingent of South African films to mark the 50th anniversary of the country's fully democratic elections. No celebratory tone, though, for Kaliswa Sitwale's documentary. They were beating my, my brother-in-law. He was crying. No one came to, to rescue him. The documentary is called uh, Martin and Tandeka, and it was really a reaction to the xenophobia attacks that happened in South Africa last year. When these xenophobia attacks happen, people are still being burnt alive, and people watching. So it's, it's, it, 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 was, it was very disappointing and embarrassing being South African during that time. Sitwali's film is one of many offering an introspective journey across Africa. 35 films from 16 countries across the African continent. This is Africa on film as far as the New York African Film Festival is concerned. And here is the youngest filmmaker, Lupito Nyong'o from Kenya. Lupito, how old are you? 26. Oh my goodness, she's going to be a star. No. My name is Mola Mutua. My name is Kawila Mutua. My name is Makasi Mutua. Lupita Nyong'o's movie is called In My Jeans. It's her first film. It's an intimate introduction to what it, about, of what it means to be a person with albinism. It's a celebration of difference, which everybody can have something to go away with. All these people and then you. Wow. <laughs> It's exciting. It's good stuff. I'm really happy for, especially for um, people with al albinism, especially now with what's going on in Tanzania. I mean, we've all heard of the horrible killings taking place in Tanzania, and I'd really like my film. The more it's seen and the more and more audiences see it, it's about shedding good light on these people and uh, just sharing their humanity. And that's another chance to do that. Lupita Nyong'o, part of a new generation of passionate African filmmakers. Femi OK for Inside Africa, New York. Thank you. Kenyan activist Wangari Mathai is a subject of a new film. We'll hear from the Nobel laureate about the documentary Taking Root and the environmental movement she created. <laughs> We will never give up in our fight for a better government. 